Hello guys, me back with another today we are back with another story time and today the story time is this time that I start selling crack. Don't talk yet, don't just let me finish. Alright, let me finish. I had a friend, was a friend, now he's not anymore. We used to skip school like every day. Went to go smoke and all that shit. Smoke some that ganja. And one day we decided, hey, we should start cooking crack. That's how it happened. Just Think about it, just like that. You know, we had the plugs and everything. He used to get the cocaine. Crack, if y'all don't know how crack is made, crack, you take cocaine, you take gasoline, take lighter fluid, you could take water. Water is not gonna be that strong or it's not gonna be that good at much. It's not gonna be that good crack, but it's gonna be some crack. But you take some whatever you, we had, lighter fluid, and we you take the lighter, put it in the cocaine, then you let it heat it up, then you take the baking soda, then you put the baking soda, and then it's gonna start bubbling, and all these scientific shit's gonna happen. Then it's gonna get hard, and that's when it's called crack rock. It turned into a rock. It turned, and you put scrape it out the pot, or scrape it out the spoon, whatever you scrape it out of, and put it in the bag. So that's what we used to do. We used to, we used to go to this place called a bando. Bando's a abandoned house or a trap house, whatever. We used to do it. I used to be the bagger, he used to cook it, I used to bag it up. I think we had like 40 bags and we sold only two. That's it. And I was like, what the fuck? This this fucking crack business is shit. I guess cause we didn't know nobody. Nobody basically smoked crack, okay? Only crack kids. And there's a few of a few people who smoke crack kids and most of the crackers are basically white. So it was we lived in a black neighborhood. So most people in that black neighborhood were fucking smoking fucking weed. So we didn't have weed either. I think he tried to sell it, but like he had a weed plant in his room, but he didn't ever. It was like little bit. It wasn't like it wasn't fucking farm. It wasn't a farm shit that you see in a fucking movie where there are thousands, dollars of weed coming out the fucking roof. Um, he sold to this crack lady that ripped him fucking off. I think he gave him five dollars for two bags that are worth fucking fifteen or twenty. She ripped him the fuck off. So that's when I said fuck this shit. I ain't doing this shit. Plus, if I get caught, I mean, that's 10 years. Possession of crack cocaine. Crack, you don't play with crack cocaine. Weed is like, eh. if it's a felony amount of weed, yeah. Then it's a problem. But if it's like a little bit, eh. Ticket. It was a time where he basically sold this guy some crack. And he said he was going to give him more, but he never did. And then he then they went through this chase around the neighborhood and shit. And then he hit me and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? And I said, pop. Bop, I took a stick, then I took a stick, and I said, bop, 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 nigga, bop, bop. He was this old guy, this old, he wasn't a crackhead, he was like a family man, but he smoked crack on the low. <laughs> what the fuck? But it was a story time, guys. Uh, it was a story time, guys. Yeah, so don't do drugs, don't, don't do drugs, stay in school, peace.